Alright guys, Mr. Biggie Mac here with another unboxing for you guys. Today we have the new, much anticipated Sanyo Exacti VPC PD2. Um, this is my personal camcorder. Uh, this is not a loaner unit. This is not a, you know, a PR lender. Uh, this is my personal unit, so be looking forward to more video footage, uh, tests, and a, you know, review. About a week, I want to use this thing every day and, uh, you know, give you guys some, some feedback on the camera itself. And, like I said, be looking for test footage and all that kind of stuff on it. Um, here we have the um, personal computer requirements here. I know you guys ain't going to be able to see that. Um, hold on one second here. Let me see if I can get this to, to come in for you guys. Okay. Uh, yeah, there we go. Um, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows XP, standard USB port. Um, the simple uploader is Windows 7, Vista, and XP. And video playback is Mac OS X 10. Um, from what I understand, this you can plug it into your Mac, and, and I've tested it out already to make sure everything worked correctly. Um, you can plug this in and mount it as a card reader and pull your videos and stuff right off of it and you can use it right into iMovie. Um, if there's software built onto this camera, it did not load when I plugged it into the Mac. It will probably load uh, when I plug it in with the PC. Um, the CPU is 2.0 uh, gigahertz or faster. Uh, Mac OS X is Core 2 Duo or faster. Uh, all of them are one giga, one gigabyte of uh, or greater RAM. And the Mac video is 256 megabyte or greater. And the Windows is 128 megabyte or greater. So that's pretty much that on there. Um, 10 megapixel photos. Uh, full 1080p. 30 frames per second video, three three times optical zoom, high speed sequential shot, which is like your sports shot, built in USB, uh, built in software for web uploading, and HDMI output on here. Uh, here it shows you SDXC compatible, and it is SDHC compatible. It has an HDMI port on it. Uh, Windows 7 compatible, and the accessories you get in the box are a USB cable and a lithium ion battery pack, um, which is a pretty small battery. Um, we'll get more into that here in a second. So, once you open the box up, guys, you, you get welcomed with your craziness manuals and all your wacky papers and warranties and safety stuff. And you know, we're not here to look at that stuff, Eric. Uh, here is the battery that it comes with. Uh, it is a small battery. It is a 700 milliamp battery, but uh, you will be able to get these off of eBay um, for like 10 bucks a piece. Uh, and there's always um, like package deals, like where you get like a charger with a car cord and a, a battery that uh, you know, or two batteries for a price. Uh, here is the USB extension cable that you get in the package. Uh, I didn't know if it was going to include this, so I had already ordered a couple online. Uh, and I went to eBay and bought them for like under three bucks for shipping, so it was pretty cheap. So here is the camera itself. Uh, very nice, very slim. Uh, the only thing I have right here that's in comparable size is about a mouse. Um, it's probably the same width, pretty close to the same width as a mouse, as you can see here. Uh, pretty much the same height too, so you know that's a pretty fair comparison to where you know Ian's guys can just look right now and look down and say, okay, well, it's not too bad, not too wide, you know. Uh, thickness, 
It's it's pretty thin. Uh, it's about mm, I'd say the thickness of a cell phone. Um, you know, pretty much the same size of a cell phone. Um, very very light. Uh, even with the battery in it, uh, it is light. So even if you did end up buying a like a lanyard strap to hang around your neck, or just tossing this in your pocket or your shirt pocket, it's going to be very comfortable for you guys. Uh, here on the left and the right are the stereo microphones. Here is your flash uh, on the lens, which is a wide-angle lens um, with 3x zoom optical. Uh, and yes, it does have digital. If you turn, if you uh, turn the optical off, it does go into digital. Um, but it is a wide-angle lens, and there is a lens cover, which is very, very nice. It's a mechanical lens cover. When you turn the camera on, I'll show you here. It opens, and this is as far as the lens pops out on the front. So here we'll give you a shot of the buttons on the back. At the top, you got your camera photo button. You got your camcorder to start your video and stop your video. You got your wide and telephoto zoom adjustments there. You got your four-way selector, your selector in the middle. You got your record and play, and you got your flash, trash can, and your setup button. Uh, to get in the setup, you just push and hold this button here for a few seconds, and you go right into the menu. Uh, in the menu, there's not a whole lot, guys. It's pretty straightforward and simple. Um, you go into your video stabilizer. Uh, you turn it on or off. I have mine turned on. Uh, here's where I'm talking about the optical zoom. If you turn the optical zoom off, it will go to digital zoom. Uh, here you set your clock, your language, your TV output, and here's how you, you format the internal and I do believe external. If you have an external card in it, they will ask you to pick which one you want to, you know, go for. So, yeah, when, it, when you get it, the battery is going to be dead, but I'll charge it enough so you guys can see. Um, you know, with the how it looks. Um, now here we were only about a foot away, and you can see how much of a wide angle view you get through this camera. Uh, you can see the clock about a foot away there, behind it, and you can see how much area and space around it that you could see. Um, it is a very nice uh, wide angle setup on here. And uh, when you are recording, I will show you here. I right, won't let me do it. Uh, when you when you are recording, you can snap two megapixel stills while you're recording, and it will not affect the video or the audio of the video that uh, you're using. Uh, audio quality while recording was amazing. I could hear myself behind the camera very very well, um, and as well as what's in front of me uh, very very clearly. Um, and the battery just died, but uh, guys, so far. Excellent camera. Uh, I bought this from B and H Photo um, for one hundred sixty nine dollars. Uh, I had it two days to me for like one hundred ninety bucks, or overnighted, whatever that was, uh, second day or however they call that. It's pretty much overnight. I ordered it yesterday. And it's here today. Um, and guys, I'm real excited to try this out even more. Um, I'm gonna probably at the end of this video. Uh, I'll throw some, and you should have seen them in the beginning. Uh, some some pictures and but I'll have some random pictures that I took with this uh, at the end of this video and um, that'll be of the 10 megapixel uh, I think there's a few 10 megapixel stills and there's one of the uh, El Camino in the shed that are, that are two megapixel stills I'll have them labeled at the end of the video but uh, yeah guys stay tuned uh, much more footage coming from this video test indoor outdoor low lights uh, outdoor natural light, um, you know, just many more tests coming for this camera, guys. I'm real excited about it. Um, as of right now, from what I've seen for playing around with this thing for about a half hour, I would not hesitate to order this up, guys. Uh, it's very, very nice. It is very light, and it almost it feels like a point and shoot, like build like a point and shoot. It doesn't feel like real cheap feeling. The plastic is really thick. Uh, it, it's really well built. This inside here, the directional pad is very sensitive, so when you are selecting stuff, you don't have to beat on the buttons. Okay, 
So that's it, guys. I'm out of here. Um, like I said, stay tuned. We'll be getting some test footage and you know some other video up for this. And that's it for me, guys. This is Mr. Biggie Max saying I'll see you guys on YouTube. Have a good one.